this was a pretty lazy day for us. Everybody had just gotten over a sinus, in, or not sinus infection. I had the sinus infection, but everybody had just gotten over a cold. And I ended up getting a sinus infection. And anyways, we we're finally all better. And I haven't really felt like cooking on this day, really the last few days. And, but I did want to do something special for dinner since everybody was finally feeling better and I needed something quick because I, again, did not feel like being in the kitchen. So since we had been avoiding dairy while we were congested, I decided to do pizza pinwheels. The kids always loved this. They were very excited about it. So this is what I did. So I did double the recipe here. I am making the dough and I did double the recipe. Um, this comes together very quickly. It is a very, very easy, simple meal. So if you want to try this, I mean, you really, you, you can't mess it up too bad. So um, I'm going to give you the recipe for a single dough, but I did double it in the video. It is three-fourths cup of warm water. You want it between 90 and 100 degrees or baby bottle temp if you want to measure it that way. Two cups or 240 grams of flour. One packet of yeast, or one packet is seven grams, if you want to measure it out. One tablespoon of granulated sugar. I used honey, and we do like a sweeter um, pizza dough, so I did put a little more than what was called for. If you don't want a sweet dough, you just want it plain, then don't worry about adding the, adding the sweetness. It's okay. Three-fourths teaspoon of salt, and then we do like... Um, or I like to put more seasonings in my dough. So I did do one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and then one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Sometimes I will do oregano instead of Italian seasoning, whatever you feel like doing. You can play around with it or you could not do seasonings. Just leave it plain, whatever you want to do. So this is a uh, wet dough. I did have to add a little bit more flour to it to make sure it balled up pretty good. But it is still a wet dough and that's okay because when we uh, work with it and roll it out, it is going to end up getting more flour to it and that will make it exactly perfect. So um, I didn't want it really sticking to the bowl too bad and uh, or sticking to my fingers. So I did knead it, I would say probably about 10-15 minutes. You're probably good at, at letting it mix and knead like that. And then it is going to be a little sticky, but again, it's okay. So here I covered it, I let it sit for, it took about an hour in our house for it to double. And so since I did make um, a double batch, I am going to break this in half. It doesn't have to be perfect. I didn't weigh it out. I just eyeballed it. It doesn't matter. And so this is where that extra flour is going to come into play. I do have flour on the parchment paper or whatever work surface you're going to be using. And I do put flour on top of the dough and flour on the rolling pin. So the dough is still sticky, but um, with all this flour everywhere, it's going to end up working just fine. And I do alternate front and back of the dough. I do flip it around as I'm rolling it. And um, that helps the flour get distributed evenly and keeps everything from sticking and makes a good dough as well. So since I'm doing um, the pizza pinwheels, I am not trying to get a circle here or your typical pizza shape. I am trying to do a rough rectangle-ish shape so I, I mean you don't have to have square corners or anything but you do want it more in a rectangle shape rather than a circle and uh, my camera actually the battery died <laughs> during the process of me doing this so you unfortunately don't get to see me roll everything up into it before I cut it and bake it um, but you will see the rest of the other process and especially when I do the second batch of this, um, then you're able to see me finish it. I did not realize that my battery died until kind of late. So um, here I'm making sure everything is nice and flat and then we're going to start adding all the toppings. You can add whatever toppings you like. I have even done this with a um, kind of like a chicken fettuccine style pizza and that's really good too. But here I'm using um, red sauce. It's actually pasta sauce. When I make pizzas, I use pasta sauce. It, it doesn't matter to us. And so um, I'm just going to spread some pasta sauce here. And then I am going to put some, uh, well, our toppings on this night were pineapple and olives. And then for the meat, I had some um, hot dogs on hand. 
our hot dogs are 100% beef and it doesn't have the um, the casing or the film on it so it is a healthier hot dog so I don't mind the kids eating it here is where my camera dies when I'm getting the cheese out and then I go to spread the cheese so um, after I realized that and plugged it up to charge I am getting my first batch out of the oven so after I cut it and put it on the cookie sheet, which you'll be able to see me do with this second batch that's on the island, um, I baked it at 450 degrees Fahrenheit, and I did start it at five minutes, and it, they didn't look quite ready. So I just watched them for the next few minutes, and for me and the way my oven cooks, it ended up needing to be in there for eight minutes total. Um, I have done it at 10 minutes before and it was just a little too long with the texture that we like. So I would recommend starting at five or six minutes and then watch it for a few minutes and just see, see what you think for your oven because everybody's oven is going to cook a little different. But for me, eight minutes was perfect. So I'm just taking everything off of the pan here. I am going to reuse this pan for the next round. So I'm taking it off and I'm putting it on a cooling rack. And um, that keeps that dough really nice and soft and chewy. And it was just, it was really, really good. Everybody enjoyed it. And since the kids don't like theirs hot, <laughs> um, it does help it cool off a lot faster. So I can get them eating and out of my hair while I get the rest of this second batch going. So this is how I cut it. I just use my knife. You, I've even used a, a, um, a pizza cutter before. Just roll it right across, whatever you want to use. And I cut it, I mean, I don't know, maybe about half an inch to an inch thick. It, it doesn't have to be any specific way. I mean, just have fun with it. Do what, what you think you want to try and, you know, experiment with it too. So um, I do cut it and then I roll it over on one side and I pinch the bottom before I put it on the pan to make sure everything doesn't just fall out at the bottom. So I didn't turn my oven off. I kept it warm. And so at 450 degrees Fahrenheit at eight minutes, it comes out perfect again.